and hit South Oklahoma City. The sudden deluge caused Lightning Creek to overflow, flooding homes and businesses. As Kirsten McIntyre reports now, victims are waiting to see if they'll get help. Well, Kelly, state and federal disaster workers were out assessing the damage this morning. When they're finished, the state will likely request financial help for individuals from the White House. But if history repeats itself, flood victims are not holding their breath. Eight mark where the water line was. Rhonda King has spent the last week doing what she can to help her father-in-law. He was recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and now his home looks like this. What's more, he didn't have flood insurance. They had a meeting and told the neighbors that Lightning Creek was taken care of and um, this wouldn't be a problem. Yet there was a problem when heavy rain hit last week. The task now is determining how much damage was actually done. What we're looking for here today is the amount of damage, if the people are insured. There's several different factors that go into this. Yet many out here have little hope after seeing what happened last month to flood victims in Edmond when the White House denied the governor's request for help. We're just right now going to rely on our own resources and just pray that it works out well for him. Now, a spokesperson for the Oklahoma Emergency Management says they understand why people are frustrated and discouraged, but to keep in mind, every disaster stands alone, and the state will do what it can to try to help with help. Kelly. All right, Kirsten. As for those flood victims from last month, the governor announced today they will be eligible for low interest rate loans through the Small Business Administration.